guys, in this Real Talk video is going to be about how BookTube is blacklisting authors. So, I haven't done a Real Talk video in a while, and usually when I do Real Talk videos, they're not really, like, book related. They're just, like, um, a, a segment that I do just to, like, you know, take a break from, like, talking about books all the time. But I just, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, and it just seemed like BookTube is just getting really, really worse about it. And it's like... It really starting to eat at me. And I wasn't going to film this video today, but it's just like shit is starting to just eat at me. You know, like it's just starting to get on my nerves. So this video is basically about how a lot of booktubers and just booktube in general is just blacklisting authors from just like diverse diversity and misunderstandings. And I say misunderstanding because I wasn't going to talk about it um, until I, I saw the post a while ago from Victoria Aviar. And a lot of people was coming at her, okay? And I just, y'all know I love Red Queen. So it must mean I love the author. So I just feel like just don't don't come for her. Like, don't come for Victoria like that. Because, like, I'm going to come for you. Like, I'm going to tell you about yourself. And usually I, I don't get into it because I think it's stupid. Like, I don't get into this these whole arguments that BookTube has started over this because I think it's stupid. And not, not diversity, just the fact that you're starting whole arguments over something that you're like taken totally out of context so just basically in recent times booktube has just become very protective of this the, the the big diverse movement like so much so to the point that like you're stoning authors and just blacklisting authors that just like aren't has not confirmed to your personal like it's like once a person says oh this like one once one person says, "Oh, this author is racist or homophobic or whatever," then it's like everybody in BookTube lines up and, "Oh, we're never reading their books again," and like start stoning them and like saying all kind of shit about them. And it's like I thought we were better than that. Like I really thought BookTube was better than that. Okay, it's like everybody just depends on this one person's interpretation of this book and goes along with it. And it's like it turns to a whole right thing. And this goes back to the whole carve the mark situation that happened a while ago on book two one uh when it first came out everybody was so in love with it it's like oh my god i love this book so much because a b c and d and then once one person decides oh well carved the mark is very racist then all of a sudden the same book two was that was just so in love with it for these reasons come back and oh, i'm so sorry i didn't know it was racist and i didn't see that it hurt so many people and now i don't like it because x y and z it's like if you liked it for a b c and d now you don't like it for X, Y, and Z? Like, just because this one person said this and now you feel like you don't want to seem like you're racist too? Obviously, you like the fucking book. Obviously, you didn't see anything wrong with it. So why do you have to take the word of somebody else? Did you not read the book? When you read it, you didn't see anything. So now all of a sudden, somebody else brought something to your vision? You know, like, I just, I hate it when that happened. And I, I unsubscribe to a lot of people because of that shit. Because I'm like, seriously, you don't have your own, you can't think for yourself, you don't have your own mind? But then it's in the same breath, when these authors do try to uh, include diverse characters and diverse situations in their books, then they're still criticized and terrorized because they didn't represent them good enough. You know, they weren't diverse enough. Or, you know, the, the characters were very stereotypical. But you asked for it. Like, you wanted them to include more diverse books. and I mean, diverse characters in their books. And I feel like you can't force an author to write about something that they're not familiar with. You know, how can you force an author, a white author, to write about... Like, a white author that grew up in the suburbs. How can you expect them to write a book about a black person that grew up in the hood if they've never been in the hood? They don't know about her life. They don't know about that. So how can they write about something that they don't know about? Of course, it's going to be filled with stereotypes because they don't know about it. But you asked for a character like this, so that's all they know. That's the best they can do. So then we start stoning them because of that. And it's like it's never enough. It's never good enough. You know, there are, I think there are plenty of diverse books out there. I think there's plenty of diverse books. But you have a lot of closed-minded people on BookTube. I'm pretty sure I'm going to hear about it, but I really don't, I don't give two fucks about it. Because it's like getting to the point where it's very annoying right now. And it's like, I think a lot of us on BookTube need to grow the fuck up. There are plenty of books out there that have diverse characters in it, but you're not looking for them. It's like, you have so many 
people on booktube that are closed minded to the genres that they read oh i only read this genre even though you've never tried these other genres i only read this genre so how diverse can you be when you're not even diverse in the type of books that you're going to pick up you're never going to find a lot of diverse books because you're not diverse in the, in the books that you even pick up so if you just looked for them you don't want to look for them you just want people you want to be out there that's understandable you want to you want to not have to look under the stacks for books about you and that's understandable but you can't force people to write about you you know you can't i can't force the author to write about me you know to write about a black character if they don't you know they don't understand you can't make somebody write about something that they don't get because then you're going to be pissed off because it's going to be misrepresenting you you know i feel like if you feel that strongly about the situation then you need to get a pen and you need to get some paper and you need to write your own book with your own characters if the, i think the secret to having more diverse characters is to have more diverse authors if that means you have to self-publish your book and advertise it on your own, then that's what the fuck you have to do. You can't always write a book and expect to get picked up by a big publisher. You can't write a book and expect to get picked up by Disney Hyperion or Random House or a, a, a Penguin Teen or something, you know. If you have to self-publish yourself, then that's what you need to do to get yourself out there to get your voice heard. Diverse characters come from diverse authors, okay? It's like what, that's just like if I was to write a book, I'm going to write about a black character because... That's just me. That's what I know. Okay, I'm not gonna write about another another race or another ethnicity that I don't know about because I don't wanna ha I don't wanna misrepresent anybody and then they get upset because that's worse than just not writing about them is when you do use stereotypes. Okay, so I just feel like if you have that much of an issue, write your own book. You know, self publish. A lot of people that self publish their own books to get their stuff out there. If that's what you gotta do, then that's what you have to do. And I just feel like, just based on that, like, doesn't that make you a hypocrite because you don't want to read a book about a white character? You know, doesn't doesn't that make you racist because you don't want to read about a white character? It's like a white person doesn't read want to. Is if there's a white person out there that said they don't want to read about a black person, they're automatically racist. But turning around, doesn't that make you the same? Doesn't that put you in the same boat? You know, why can't we just all read about each other, okay? And me personally, I read a lot of fantasy. Like, fantasy is my favorite genre. I read a lot of fantasy. So a lot of times in those books, your character is not even like a real race. It's like they might be purple or some shit or something that's not even real. Like a made-up a made up ethnicity, okay? So it's like I never really paid attention to it because a lot of books that I read, don't you don't even know what this character looks like unless it's the person is on the cover or the author describes them in the book. But a lot of times you don't know what the fuck that character is. You don't know what it looks like. So it's like it wasn't really anything for me to fuss about at first because the books that I read, they're not really a real ethnicity. And me personally, I don't look I don't base what book I'm going to read on based what the character looks like you know I, I as long as the book is good that's all that matters to me I could care less if they're black white yellow red blue green gold Asian I don't care what race they are I don't care what their sexual preference is as long as the book is good I just I don't really care about the what the character is as long as the book is good as long as i don't feel like the book is you know like stereotypical then we good i don't care what the character looks like and just going back to the victoria avr thing and i i took a picture of the post because I, I wanted to come with my receipts the only thing that she said is that we don't want necessarily diverse characters we want characters that we can relate to rather that character be asian latino black gray you know chinese Japanese no and no matter what their race is I can relate to another character even though their race is not mine if they like live their life the way I live mine then we can relate it doesn't matter what your skin color is that's like saying I can only be friends with black people because we can only relate to each other you know that's the only thing she's saying and she said that she grew up in a small suburban town that was just mostly white people so if an author was to write a book like that were about vampires in her town she would consider that diverse because you don't hear people write about her town and i understand that she's not saying she's not saying that we should throw the whole diversity movement away she's not saying that she's just saying the, that person race doesn't decide if that book is diverse or not diversity can be determined by more than just the color of someone's skin it can be where the book is placed at you know it, it doesn't have to be based on the character themselves you know and I think a lot of people are forgetting it and i'm not making excuses for her i just feel like that was true and then the, the post that uh she's saying she didn't want diversity she was actually retweeting from a um uh, another I don't, I don't know i don't know if she's an author now but she was retweeting one of her tweets and explaining you know why abc whatever why she agrees with that you know i feel like yes 
everyone should want to see their like own self represented in a personal life in a book but every single author is not obligated to fulfill that need uh, that you want to see yourself and that's okay and that doesn't mean just because they don't fulfill that need that doesn't mean they need to be made out to be made out to be racist or homophobic or just like just like made into this hate group that all of a sudden because they're not writing about you because they're not obligated to just because they're not obligated to you know just because they didn't follow the leader of another author that may be in the same genre that did that that doesn't mean they're a terrible person they just doing what they know how to do you know they know how to write about their self that's like if i was to start writing books and be the author i would make characters based off of myself you know, I can't write books about being a lesbian because I'm not one. I never lived that life. I never had to come out to people before. I don't know what that feels like. I don't know what I had to do. I, I would know what to put in the book with my character dealing with A, B, and C. I would know because I don't know that life. I only know my life. I only know my truth. And I could write characters based off of things I've experienced, not somebody else's experience because I don't know how they felt in that moment. And making a character feelings relate to... A, 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 a real person's feeling is what make them relatable when you can say I felt that same way that she's feeling and a character without emotions without real feelings is not really a relatable character it's just like a, a, a person like a stick person they don't really have any emotions you know you see what I'm saying like you can't expect the right author to write about something they don't they don't know they don't understand I just you know, and, and then another thing with this diversity thing that's going on, y'all want to throw stones at these authors for not being diverse enough, but I just feel like a lot of people, and Richard said this, I just feel like a lot of people are seeing the diversity movement as just a trend that they want to be a part of. They just want to jump on the train. They want to jump on the wagon and ride the wagon with everybody else. And I just feel like that's not what it is. And it just, it really showed this year because a big chunk of BookTube um, didn't even mention Black History Month yet they want to talk about diversity so much and the second an author is diverse enough then we don't want to read your books no more yet you're not even like hitting your marks in the diversity world you're not being president i mean you're not being present for things in a diverse community so how can you talk about an author when you're not really present yourself i just feel like there's already so much hate going on in the world and books is just like an escape from all that and now you know we're throwing books in the in the fire right along with everybody else like that's like so much hate is already going in the world let's just leave books alone let's just let's continue to just let books be an, an escape from a real life troubles okay please let's not just not let's not continue to throw this in there it's like booktube is really getting on my nerves with this it's like yes it's okay to want to see yourself i get that i get that i'm not saying that we don't need to see more black characters or more asian characters or more irish characters or whatever represented or more gay characters or lesbian characters or whatever asexual trans uh transgender characters whatever i'm not saying we don't need to see more of that but that doesn't mean you need to make authors out to be bad people because they're not writing about them you didn't have an issue with them when they wasn't writing about them before and you still love that book so what's the issue now you if if you want diverse characters then you need to be a diverse author so if you want more diverse characters if you want to see yourself then you need to get a pen and a paper get a computer write your own book about yourself about your own truth about how you grew up you are in charge of that but don't get mad at other people because they're not doing what you want them to do. You can do it yourself and you can self-publish. And you can get your word out about you. And about people like you if that's what you want to do. But don't just sit around and wait for somebody else to do it for you. You know? Um, yeah, that's all I had to talk about. There's some other shit I want to talk about that BookTube pissed me off about. But it doesn't really pertain to this topic. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's like I... I <laughs> It's like book two when I first started two years ago, almost three years ago, come August this year to be three years. But when I first joined book two, it's like everything was just like so nice. Like oh, everybody's so nice and friendly and I was just like, it's like high school. It's like elementary, like on book two now. It's like, I thought we were a community that we're here to support each other. And that's, uh, obviously that's gone out of the window lately. Especially with the release of um, of Zenith, a lot of people have showed that they're not supportive of their own people in their community, their fellow booktubers, and I just feel like that's fucked up. You know, I haven't read Zenith yet. It's a book that I want to read. I just haven't read it yet. I don't like to read books when it's like a big hype going on. Whatever. But um, I feel like as a community, we should be supporting each other, not putting each other down. And that's what a lot of people are doing 
with Sasha and Lindsay. People are putting them down saying like, oh, the only reason your book is on the bestseller list is because your friends say they like it, but it wasn't good. It sucked. The book was shitty and the only reason people liked it is because they're your friends. And I'm like, that's fucked up. You don't do that. Because if that was you in that shoes, would you want somebody to discredit your work like that? Like, that's not cool. Okay? I, and they're not the only booktubers that have written books and have published book and have published a book on booktube. But it seems like people are coming for them way harder than anybody else. Like, that's what it seems like. And I'm like, that's fucked up. Like, you don't do that. We're supposed to be here to support each other. You know, I feel like if I was to, because I love poetry and I ain't going to lie, if I was to publish a book, the first thing would be like a collection of poems. I would want people to support me too. Like, I, I don't want people to just be like, oh, you only made it because you got friends that like you. And it's like, shit not cool. It's like, I worked my ass off for whatever I published. You know, I want somebody, I want to be credited for my shit. Don't just try to make it seem like people like pity liked my shit and that made it to the top. Because that's not what it is. I just, I just feel like we're falling apart as a community. I just, I, we're not there for each other, and that's why I feel like we should be supporting each other. Everybody should be point, su supporting each other. Like, I'm going to leave it alone because that's a whole nother video. I'm going to leave it alone. But um, y'all know who y'all are. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all fucking self. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, grow the fuck up. This is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my potty mouth right now, but I can't. I just, I can't take it. When I get irritated, that's what happens. It's like everything, like... All my morals are gone, and it's just, it's ridiculous, because I can't believe, like, we're supposed to be this big-ass, supportive community, kumbaya and shit, and nobody, and when it comes time to show your support, it's like, everybody's like deuces, and the shit is not cool, like, this is not right, okay? We should be supporting each other, okay? Our community is going to hell in a handbasket, like, very slowly. It's, it's getting there. It's like... I don't know if this was going on when I first joined Books and I just didn't notice because I was blind. But everybody's so nice. I don't know, but y'all should be the fucking shame of yourself. Y'all really should. You don't force your opinions on somebody else because you don't agree with because everybody doesn't agree with you. Now you gotta come at them. Like it's not that serious. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Isn't that what this community is about? That we're supposed to be sharing, swapping opinions with each other. That everybody has their own opinion. Let's listen to each other's opinions. But it's like now, when it comes to like booktubers publishing books, it's like if you're their friend, then your opinion is fake and you're lying. My opinion matters. If I hate the book, then that's the that's the that's that's the truth. Like it's like your opinion is not the fucking New Testament. Like your opinion is not the Bible. Like everybody doesn't have to follow suit with your opinion, and that doesn't give you a right to go off on people because they like the book that you didn't like. Whatever, that's on you. Be a bit of bitch. I don't care. But don't try to force other people. Shut up, kill them. Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna because I can like really go off like for a while on that because it's just I just I hate when people I hate that'll be the same people who have their hands out for support but they didn't support other people I just I hate that I, with a passion I'm like a pet peeve like if you want support you need to give it you know shut up shut up Kayla shut up all right so I'm going to cut this video right now before I lose my freaking mind and um I will see you guys in my next video thank you guys for Watching this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Fuck it up, ah, 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 let's go. Ah.